Ladies and gentlemen, if you suffer from low libido, poor drive, or subpar bedroom performance, don't skip this ad. Youth Fountain Laboratory, makers of the Plaqueout Natokinase Cocktail, has created a powerful dietary supplement, strong enough for men, yet safe enough for women. Introducing Vasoflux, a unique blend of 20 herbs, barks, roots, and compounds designed to turn back the hands of time. Vasoflux is made of ingredients clinically proven to help improve blood flow, lower blood pressure, increase libido for both men and women, improve performance, increase energy and drive, and reduce menopausal symptoms in women while restoring virility in men. For more info, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call toll-free at 1-800-853-7856. And remember, if you want to turn back the clock, try Vasoflux. Y'all so seen it, it seemed like Satan threw everything he had at me. Still standing, ain't understanding how y'all could be mad at me. Patience, push-ups, prayer on a healthy kick. Paint the perfect picture, me rolling, no selfie stick. Basically, they macking. Bonafide businessman, religion don't define him better than his decisions can. Prodigal profit, ain't worth half the price. Purchase, pay for after death, it's the afterlife, my future. I'm just preparing for my future life. Cause my mama say ain't living right. So just in case I ain't living this one right. I'll be riding with no ceilings like yeah. Cause I'll be out to get it Cause I can see me with it I ain't worried about you niggas I'm just lining up in digits I get it how I live it Oh my mama mama Salute to Bobby Bobby Romero He said you talk about things My pop and myself talk about over the phone We never spoke about this much When he get out he gonna appreciate these reruns. Shout out to you and your pops, Bobby, for tapping into the realism that is in the black box. And it's deep that that's what you came with right now because before I let the homies on, it was one more little issue I wanted to tap in on. And this right here broke my heart. Um, I'm, I'm sure all can relate. Probably not to the extent of those of us who are parents. And then definitely those of us who are parents of girls but uh i'm gonna read a little bit this story of this story i'm not gonna read the whole thing rest in peace to jasmine it's deep y'all uh they just shot my baby says father moments after seven year old daughter killed at mcdonald's in whole main square um i got six children this really hit me because i don't um live with all my children I actually only live with one my youngest daughter is amongst this one of the six that i don't live with um not seeing her uh that much recently just this week made it my business what's this monday so yesterday was sunday so the sunday prior to this most recent sunday which would have been yesterday i made it my business to go get her she was on her way to go do something. So I made sure I got her in the car, took her to get something. We went to the McDonald's drive through She wanted breakfast. They didn't have no breakfast. So she settled for a smoothie. Love you, Riley. Cocoa butter brown sugar on my mama, mama. You know I love you. And uh, what else she got with her uh, smoothie? A cinnamon roll. So... I remember my daughter had ponytails like this. It's not much about this little girl that is not the same thing about my little girl. This little girl was seven. My daughter is nine, and we just most recently spent time in a McDonald's drive through It was a, a very quick run to the McDonald's drive through and I don't even need to read the story. Uh, I believe they were in Chicago. Where it's cracking. Um, the way it seems like her father knew he was in the midst of some shits. And a lot of people are making comments like he knew he shouldn't have had his baby with him. I'm not finna even stand in judgment on nobody. 
on a situation like this. I remember when it was a time. It's grown. It's grown. Grown men in prison right now. That um. It was a time when, way back, when they was under ten, just little boys. That there were scenarios playing out in the streets with their pops. So I remember where me and my bro been in traffic and gunplay, and then as soon as the gunplay took place, we getting phone calls saying, "Cause y'all just shot at so and so with so and so in the car, which happened to be a child and a child that we both loved dearly and love to this day." But because of the scenario, um. Uh, was invisible, didn't see it or nothing, nothing, nothing like that, and it's just crazy, so here it is, like, 20 years later, to see that type of scenario played out, everybody want to pass judgment, you don't know if, I don't know what the scenario was, I know Cud wasn't purposely, I'm sure, you know, taking for granted the life of his baby, but rest in peace to Jaslyn, uh, once again, it's just another subject that uh, reminds us we got to do different. We got to do better. Every time we turn around, it seems like the truth is it's another murder on my mama, mama. We're going to tap in and tap out, but then when we tap back in, the homie's going to be on the line. On my mama, mama, Google Game Productions, Jeter, gratitude is the attitude. Rest in peace to baby girl. Cemetery ceremony, bury the home, blue chucks, see bitch where he struck up, hope the preacher hurry up and shut the fuck up, you the murder victim, single file line, violent vengeance, only thing on my mind, murder, I don't Thinking about the fact that it seems like every time I turn around, it's a murder in my city. South Central Los Angeles, Cop to California, wicked ass Watts. Next to Net Puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All right.